Hey Garage Journal, Geo Bruin here. I do a lot of testing uh, about flow, plugs, fittings, hoses, couplers, etc. But now today I'm going to be testing something a little bit different. There's a discussion going on about insertion force. So the amount of force it takes to insert a plug into a coupler when the hose is under pressure. So that's what we're going to be testing today. I've got a couple different plugs here. Uh, and a couple different couplers. So I've got a Milton Universal Quick Coupler, which accepts both the V-style plugs as well as the industrial plugs. I've got a Prevo High Flow Safety Coupler that takes also takes the V-style plugs. So we're going to use the V-style plug for both of those. And then I've got a Stedlin Quick Coupler that takes well, all of Stedlin's plugs, it will accept any industrial plug, but what I have here is a Stedlin full flow plug. Um, these are advertised as being relatively low insertion force, so we'll put that to the test. So what I'll be doing uh, is pushing down on a scale. I initially wanted to use this kitchen scale, but as you'll see, some of these combinations will exceed the allowable force in my kitchen scale. So we're back to using a bathroom scale here. Um, all of the hoses are plugged into the same air source. We're at about 100 PSI. I figure that's a good working shop pressure. So let's start with the Milton Universal Coupler and the V-style plug. I'll try to push down as evenly as possible and slowly so we can watch the scale climb. Oop. So you heard something there, but that wasn't final engagement. That was just the first stage. So we'll keep going 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So you saw right about 16 pounds, it connected. And then it jumped up a little bit to 18, but that was just because it was sort of a dynamic force. So we'll call it 16-ish pounds. Next up, we'll do the Pre Prevo uh, safety coupler with that same plug. Same testing methodology, as far as I can reproduce it. So there's, whoop, first stage at eight pounds. We'll keep going, 10, 11, 12, So there's 15, there's 16, so that was a little tough to see. Um, we were over 20 pounds and as I, as it finally connected, you started to hear the, hear the air leak out of it and it, you know, you saw 25 pounds, you saw it bounce up. So tough to know exactly, but over 20 pounds, probably somewhere between 20 and 25 pounds of insertion force. And then finally, we'll use the Stedlin quick coupler, sorry about that, with a full flow plug. Let's see what those results look like. Come on scale, there we go. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Whoop. Nine point eight was the last thing I saw before it connected. And I have to tell you, doing a lot of tests with various plugs and couplers, that's consistent with my experience. These Stedlin couplers really, really do have a low insertion force. Um, they're quite pleasant to use. Now there's advantages and disadvantages. Um, if you've seen some of my previous videos testing flow, you'll know that they do perform nearly the same as, for example, the Prevo coupler with the Milton V style plug under normal shop conditions as pressures and flow numbers rise, uh, in my opinion, well above what you'd experience on a daily basis, you, you start to see more of a difference, but for everyday use, the flow numbers are, are pretty similar. 
So if you are looking specifically for something with a very low insertion force, it's very easy to use if you're plugging and unplugging a lot. Uh, the Steadlin might be ideal. If that isn't a concern of yours and you're after purely flow, you might consider uh, if you're working in the quarter inch size, um, the Milton V style with the appropriate coupler. Uh, in this case, the Milton Universal coupler outperformed the, the Brevo. But anyway, I hope that was helpful.